Hi, Gemini. This is Sandy Couture, and I am here doing the Astrological Tarot reading for the sign of Gemini for the month of October 2021. It's actually still September. It's September 26, and tomorrow Mercury goes into a three-week retrograde um, phase. And in addition to Mercury being retrograde, six outer planets, the planets that really challenge our soul growth, are all in retrograde. And a lot of times people get kind of freaked out by Mercury retrograde or any planet retrograde. But I want you to keep in mind that retrograde time, retrograde seasons are about um, second chances. They're about breakthroughs for us. They're about um, correcting mistakes, uh, about justice and balance within your life. And with seven planets retrograde for the next couple of weeks, there's a huge mes message for all of us alive that we need to slow down and listen to our guidance, not be pushing through and forcing through <coughs> without taking time to consider where it is we're going and, you know, to ask for guidance and how that can come about for us. So anyway, about the 6th of October, uh, Pluto, planet of transformation, will be going direct. And then on the 17th and 18th, Mercury and Jupiter will be going direct. So there is reprieve within a three or four week period. So just be be cautious right now as far as a movement. Gemini like to get information, information, information. They're kind of always on the run, you know, and uh, it's time to slow down and just meditate and listen for guidance, ask for guidance and listen for guidance. The first card that I pulled for you is the Hierophant or the Hierophant, however you want to say it. And this card represents a person who actually has all of the tools he needs to move forward. He knows the rituals, he knows what he has to do, but now he just needs to put it all together and in action. So I know I said the first part of this month is to take time to um, review. And I want you to review all of the tools you have at your disposal, personal internal tools, and then ask for guidance for forward movement for yourself. The challenge for you, Gemini, is uh, the Empress um, card. Now this card represents the mother of the universe, the, the biggest, the largest feminine um, energy within the universe. She has all of the gifts of the world, of the universe that she can offer you. But your challenge is to listen to that intuitive side of yourself. So I want you to think about that as you're going through your month. The process card is to know when to take action and that there are circumstances shifting and changing for you currently and possibly because you've been um, desiring and meditating and manifesting in a certain direction, things are in process. So trust that process and move forward with it. And the most likely outcome card, actually this is the best reading I've had so far, and I'm on the seventh one or eighth one, is the world. Oh no, the sun, I'm sorry. Now the sun is the giver of life. Without the sun, we wouldn't have the earth the way that it is right now. So it looks like you have a lot of fabulous abundance and goodness coming to you. If you can just take your time, listen to your intuition and trust that what you desire is heading for you, even if you can't see it in the 3D. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful for you Geminis out there and I hope you have a wonderful month. Thanks for watching, bye.